Okay, I'm adding this on to the beginning of the video. So after these few screenshots, the video will be playing as if I had intended it to when I made the video. But when I woke up today, here we go again. So these are the rules for old girls group. It says, new rules, guys. No more calling people out or arguing if you disagree with someone else's information or post. Please show us your evidence why. Ooh, that was a long sentence. Prove your point with visual facts, please. She wants you to give her, her your content. That's what she's saying. Then she says, no promotion or spam. Give more than you take to this group. Self-promotion, spam, or irrelevant links are allowed. That, that, that would just knock the whole admin out of this building, but okay. No post will be approved if it ain't. That's, that's the subtitle of this one? Okay. New rules, guys. If your info is not directly connected to the movements before Kanika's, Kanika murder or Kanika and party attendees from the night of the murder. 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 I don't even know what the hell she's Get some English. Rosetta. Okay. So this is what I woke up to. So I went over here. So, okay. Again. She doesn't comprehend that I don't got her blocked because I can see her. She is the admin of this group. She has no moderators and no helpers as admins. It's just her. Y'all see me? I see her. Therefore, she's not blocked. Oops, sorry. Then, when I woke up, here we go. It says that you'll be able to see these details until March the 14th because they give you two weeks. So I screenshot it. It says Cassie Vera commented on Exposure Channel's post. So now we all know who's lying, but you will delete these we know. That was my comment because I posted in the comments of her post talking shit about me but I posted the co the screenshot proving that I could not comment because there's see there's no spaces for me to comment because she had muted me and this person who I have no plans on becoming a, a, a f online friend with She's saying that she sent me a request. Now, she kept saying she sent me a request per messenger. So, I showed her a screenshot of the last three that had requested my uh, to be sending me messages. See, message request, blah, blah, blah. I said, these are the last three requests I've gotten. Then, before I realized she was actually sending me a friend request, I just went ahead and threw it out there. And I says, now, if it was a friend request, I don't accept those from anybody anymore. After that, right after, as soon as I typed that, that's when old girl muted me. Now, she goes and she deletes my comment under this rule. Admets can't see the picture, so can't post pictures. If you take a break, block the admit. Sorry. What? Mind you, that's not a rule. That's just a little note. And again, because you have your settings whatever because see here again if you can't see a screenshot that I post how are you able to complain that you can't see it to delete it you ain't making no kind of sense then she did the same thing with this comment that I had made and because I said, see, I couldn't comment. And then I showed, this is all that I did. Remember, I showed y'all on the live. Because there's no place for me to comment because I was muted. Again, she says, 
admin can't see the pictures you can't post pictures if you take a break block the admin sorry are you telling me to block you because I don't have you blocked but again like I told y'all on the live she gonna delete my shit that's all she does then I tell her again no place for me to comment because I said, if you're going to keep deleting every comment I make, then you should delete me 100% out of your entire multiple lives. She says, if you want to be here, uh, something about multiple lives to take, that, if you're saying like that's a threat, how is that a threat? B, I'm untouchable, but I can't say that about you, though, Corona probably get you first bah ha ha god don't like a first off if god was your god you would spell it correctly and when i say spell it correctly you would capitalize god because god demands and expects the not just the attention but the respect that you should be giving him if you want to be trying to use his name because again God is not karma oh I'm so I, I guess I'm your karma in a physical form yeah feel me foe we quick trying to play like you live in the oh, you know how pitiful attention-seeking, want to be a low-life American so bad. Because you don't even want to be a regular American. You want to be a low-life American, trying to play like this chick. Oh, Lord, I got to take y'all one day. And then she says the same bullshit again. I got to take y'all one day to her, uh, what is it, Instagram? Same title, same, you know, page, group, whatever she pretends to be. Ain't nothing on there but FBG Duck. What the hell does FBG Duck got to do with the Kanika case? Now you think he was going to like you? <laughs> Not in his lifetime. I don't know if I got any more or not. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This, this is to prove my point. Okay. All right. She keeps saying... She can't see me. Now, I screenshot this when I screenshot those other ones right now, earlier, whatever. Okay? Right here, Sheila Sands making a comment. Here comes Doofus. She needs one of those caps, those pointed caps. Not like the KKK, but like, you know, the Doofus, the dunce cap. She says, Cassie O'Vera, are you acting like I mute you, Cassie, or did you go to YouTube to play victim? Ha, 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 pathetic. Mind you, I should have seen what she how she edited it. This was over a day ago. Because when did I screenshot these? March the 1st at 22.05. So what is that? 10.05, my time? So that means this was done on February the 28th. Okay? I know we're on March the 2nd now. I had to sleep sometime. Okay, people? Okay. She says... And so that was, this was before I went live. She was already saying this. This is why I'm saying she wants she wanted she wants me to put something out about her. So anyway, I responded with, "See, I show my proof," and I showed another screenshot with where she had said, "You know, she cut my on the 26th. She had muted me until the 27th." And this was the group rules that she says that I violated. Saying that I'm calling people out. I'm not the one calling people out. But here's, here's the kicker. She's going to laugh. Put the laughing emoji in, 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 in the response to my screenshot. Yet. She's going to turn right around and say again. That she can't see me and that I'm blocked. Come on. Which is it? 
You can't have it both ways. You cannot put a reaction on my screenshot that you're claiming you can't see. That makes you what? That's what I thought. Okay, if you watched last night's live, you got to see that exposure is dying for attention. So, apparently she made this little video here that she didn't speak on. And it's showing my comments and my screenshots of where she had muted me. And the screenshots showing that I couldn't comment. And she still insists on going on back and forth about that... I have her blocked when, in fact, I have told her many times, like last night in my live, at the end of my live, that I have the Ayala uh, profile blocked. I do not have exposure blocked, and I am responding to exposure, and exposure is responding to me. So, like I said in the live last night, Facebook 101, if you are the admin, it's irregardless if somebody has you blocked, you can still see them. But because of the fact that I see you and I'm responding to you, I don't have you blocked. I don't know what your problem is with your computer. You obviously can see my screenshots. When you click on them, I don't know what your problem is. It's not my problem. But you calling me out my name and accusing me of playing victim when you're the one that's playing victim and crying and whining about whatever is wrong with your computer is just dumb. You said your group is about Kanika, but yet all you do is put Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. And here's going to be my proof. All right, first photos in her group are content that she got from me with my watermark. Then she makes a post about saying that I'm stealing money from Mama T because of Amp Easy's fundraiser, saying that I'm the one that set it up and that I stole the money. It leads it into the whole big old thing. You guys all seen it all before. Then she posts a screenshot from YouTube where I was, you know, confronting her on talking shit about my kids. Pretty simple. I'm sure anybody on God's green earth would do the same if some stranger who lives in another country was accusing your child of murder from somebody that lives somewhere they've never even been or never even met any of these people. And then had their cheerleaders to ride along, following along, egg it on, whatever you want to call it. Then here's one of her cheerleaders posting up a screenshot of my profile, uh, Jacobs, with her fake profile because the other profile is Nina Conley or whatever. So she went and makes a video about me. Then they come back with this screenshot wanting to know where it was from. You see my water mark and everything that it's from my channel on YouTube. So here comes the fake person, Jacobs, who's saying, oh, no, they didn't get that from Cassie. They got it from me. And here's the proof that they got it from me. When it looks nothing alike what she posted that she took from my channel, this is Wanda Cruz's video that she has. All right, guys. So now we're in the upper kitchen level. Now, the freezer they showed you was not the freezer Kanika was in. She was in a double freezer, and I'm going to prove it to you right now. This is it. Wait a minute. Let me stop it. Do you remember? Let me bring it back. Do you guys remember when there was a drop of blood on the floor? And the guy came with the mop, and he knew that would not clean up the blood. He knew it would not. And he. So here again, this is my channel, her screenshot she took from my channel. 
Now she posts up a screenshot of my comments and it says 134 comments Cassie Lee something uh, with my post. So apparently she's mad because my post got 130 something comments and her post don't unless she starts drama with me. I don't know. Seems like a, I don't want to say jealousy, but maybe envious. I don't know. I really don't care. But it is constantly her coming for me. Because like I said, y'all saw it on my live. I, I really don't even need to explain. I mean, she just constantly, she's saying you can't call nobody out their name, but there it is right there. Chasing clout. Cassie Chloe lying on Kanika's name. But yet then she says, I never called you a liar. Well, that's the same thing. If you're saying somebody's lying, you're calling them a liar. And then you've got this Nina, Nika, whatever her name is up there, wanting to be my friend. And now so she's mad because I won't accept a friend request. It's like, come on. Y'all think that I'm this stupid or what? It, it, you know, it's about I got connections in the Philippines. It's like, where? Never mind. Don't answer. I don't care. You're nuts. That's all there is to it. Woman, you're off your rocker. This same person right here, Nika, whatever. Uh, says, just because a person doesn't do research. Okay, I recall you calling me out on the same argument years ago about Bree Bree. I have no idea what she's talking about. Because I never just said Zach did anything to anybody. And then here comes Nikki, who stole my husband's picture off my profile page. Who carried it around on her, as her picture for like I don't know how many weeks you know these people are just nuts here she's saying that I'm a hypocrite and I try to confuse people I'm not the one saying Zach slicing people's throats and throwing them in the bushes y'all are but I'm an op okay yeah I'm an op now she says that I'm blaming the friends for wrongdoing I've not blamed the friends then she says something about Selena I Selena ain't got nothing to do with it now she says Selena was supposed to die um, if the Lord didn't bring her back. And then Bill Murray tracked her down, tracked down Kanika to kill her so Selena could live. That's how it works, dear. Really? Y'all need some medication. Fast and quick. Double doses. For real. See, she said... Uh, uh, Selena has a blank stare. That's how you know she's with the Illuminati. Good grief. It's just crazy. So this is what was said in the live last night. Actually, I need to go call Exposure Channel that. <laughs> At least you'll know what it is. I couldn't believe she sat there and said, why are you trying to play victim? You haven't been muted. And I'm like, dude, that was like two days or three days ago. My first notification when I had woke up and I went to Facebook, I come over here, I click my notifications, and the very first one said, you have been muted by this channel, I mean, this group, blah, blah, blah. Very first one. What's this bitch saying now? And so when I, I took a screenshot of that and just, I actually almost deleted it the other day, yesterday. And uh, so when tonight, when she said that, that's why I posted it up there, because she's calling me a liar. She's saying she ain't like See, look at her. Whatever stepmom, by now, this group about Kanika Jenkins, not Cassie O'Bear. you the one that made it about Cassie O'Bear, and I still want to know where the hell are these stepchildren that you keep claiming I have. I don't know what the hell that means. I keep trying to figure that out. I'm like, what? I don't know, because I know every one of my kids come out of my uterus and vagina. I didn't ain't even had a C-section, so they all came out of my uterus and my vagina. <laughs> now she's saying, okay, now she says, after I posted where it says the admin turned off your ability to post and comment, blah, 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 blah. She says, so I posted it, I says, why not show it all? You're the scary one, not me, because she was trying to say that I was a scary, I was scary cat or whatever, but she, her English got messed up and she couldn't even type it right. And she says, now she says, yes, I did mute you the other day. You're not muted now. Riddle me this. Now, if you hear people saying that, that hang around with Mika Kane, you know Mika Kane is behind it because that's Mika Kane <laughs> Riddle saying, okay? Ain't nobody from Australia going to come up saying, riddle me this all by themselves. <laughs> Why can't I tag you in comments or see pictures you post in my group? First off, I'm not posting any pictures in your group. Look at this. They're just popping up right here. Bang, 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 still. I'm not posting any comment and no pictures. If I can see you, I don't have you blocked. <laughs> I don't know. 
Google Facebook. Shit. That shit gets on my nerves. It, I mean, my family's not from this country, so it's not like if I'm, I'm a foreigner. But if you have that much problems with this language, you don't group and you don't need some kind of power over people in a group because you can't understand the country's language. I mean, that's just... Okay, now she says it again. A minute ago. Are you listening to me? Are you in my live bushes? She's got to be in my bushes. Look at it, because it says one minute ago. Whatever. this is in real time? She just put that? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> She's in my bushes. I hope a hornet stings her in the ass. She says, right here, it says one minute. Whatever, stepmom. I now, this group about Kanika Jenkins, not about you. Back to the fight for justice for Kanika or else you fixing to get muted. You're not from Chicago. Quit trying to talk like it. You sad. You're a crybaby. She's the one that was making all the comments about you. Ain't gonna go make a live about me. I said, well, I'm fixing to go live, but it ain't gonna be about you. Hmm. So now I'm talking about her. She wants to cry. Now you tell me, how can you threaten me to put a punishment on me in your group when I'm on a different platform? Look right here. Facebook 101. If I block you, I can't see you. And I'm looking right at you. So I already told her, it's got to be your settings, not mine. Shit. Mm. I mean, for anybody that don't know, Annie, Annie's learning this on her own because she became a moderator of the group. So she's learning as she goes too. If you are a moderator or a admin of a group and somebody blocks you, let me show you how it works. Like I said, I don't know how to do it on cell phones, but I know how to do it on my laptop. Let me get to one of my groups and I'll show y'all. This is what happens when people block you. <laughs> All right, let me go to this group right here because I don't, in my, this is Jay's group, but he lets me run it. But in my own personal group, I would, I would not allow a list like this, but this is his group that he started. So I don't really mess with it as far as like the ones that have blocked me. But there is a, it's a tab that when you go look at the members, right here, it says unavailable. There's 45, okay? Hmm. So when I click it to look at that list, if I, if there's a picture, that means they have me blocked. If there's no picture, chances are that profile is no longer active. But since some people do have profiles without no pictures, it's a possibility that they could have me blocked. But these ones that definitely have pictures, they have me blocked. And you not can only, tell who has you blocked? If you're an admin... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't, re I, I didn't hear you say that part. I'm sorry. I think the mods can do it, too, but I know I'm an admin. Yeah. Gotcha. Like, come on, why is this thing click? You but shouldn't... Like, some of the groups, like, don't allow you to block the admins and the moderators. Like, if you, they allow you, but if you do, you get kicked out. Majority of them are like that. Yeah, like that's I mean, you shouldn't be able to do that. That's you know, it's their group they put together. Exactly. But and if you're the, the moderator, thing. the admins want you there, you know. So. Okay, but here's the thing. Well, half the I mean, I don't even I've never even seen some of these names, so I don't know why I'm blocked. But the thing right. is, is they, this person right here, this Donald person, if they go make a post in the group, because uh -huh. I'm an admin, I can still see them. The only right. difference is. Like and see how my name is in bold. Their name, uh -huh. their name won't be in bold. Okay. It'll just be bigger. So that's how I would yeah. know. But I can still see everything that they say. So for her to be saying that she can't see pictures, I don't know about that. So because she's saying she sees my comments, mm -hmm. my pictures, I've never had that situation come up. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, they that person that has me blocked, they can't see me. So if I get on here and I say, okay. Donald, you need to unblock me. Donald's not going to see me saying that. So right. a lot of groups, what you may run into it where you see uh, the admin or somebody say, somebody tell Donald he needs to unblock me or he's going to get booted out of the group type of thing. That's why you'll see that. So for her being the admin, whatever it is, if she can't see me, that's on her or something that she's done. Even if I would have blocked her, she still can't see me. But since I see her, that is proof that she's not blocked. She's just a crybaby making up more bullshit. <laughs> Period. 
That's what I'm saying. I mean, I've got a block list, but Exposure Channel is not on it. Her real name is on it, that her real profile name is on it, because I got tired of her chasing me. She chased, I mean, she would chase me like a little kid asking questions and questions and questions. And it was never, no, every, okay, let me put, let me, let me say it better. Everybody comes and asks me questions. And most of those conversations, if they are serious, can go for hours. I'm yeah. talking about daily, every yeah. day, nonstop. And we didn't talk like you and I talked. It wasn't like if we had yeah. some kind of. I know, I was just teasing you. And the thing is, is like, no matter what she asked me and no matter what my answer would be and no matter what my proof would be to give her, she was going to buck up to it and say, that's not right. That's not true. Okay. That's and it's like, okay, look, I'm, and that's where I learned that she wasn't from America. That was my first clue there. Okay, I'm sorry, but here in the United States, this is how the judicial system works. I mean, it went on like this for so, I mean, I'm talking about every day, seven days a week, nonstop to where other people were getting in on it and saying, why do you keep asking Cassie questions if you don't believe none of her answers? Right. That's the kind of thing that it was going into. What she said earlier, what I read off about saying that she got kicked out of 10 groups. Well, let me see. Debbie's group, she got kicked out of because Debbie told her to quit talking trash about Cassie. She wouldn't stop doing it, so she got kicked out. The unbiased group, same thing. The admins in there told her, you need to quit personally targeting members. If you mm -hmm. want to comment, do that, but don't personally target. So she would turn around and make a post that says, why does Cassie think that she's always right? That's yeah, I've personal. seen the posts, some of them. That's personally targeting. Yeah. And they gave, everybody gave her like five, six, eight warnings, and she they finally kicked her out. I don't know if it's been 10. I know those two. I don't know of any other ones off the top of my head. But my thing is, why are you crying and playing victim when they told you to stop it? And then she would turn around sometimes and she was complaining like to Debbie and say, oh, but you let Cassie get away with it. And Debbie, Debbie's my friend, yes, but Debbie has point blank said, show me where Cassie's done it and I will delete it right now. And I got to the point where I said, show me where Cassie's done it and I'll tell Debbie to mute me. I'll volunteer for a punishment because it wasn't taking place. All this all took place before Cassie ever struck back at that shit. And I'm talking months. And it, every group that she would find out I was a member of, she would join it and she would bring all her little other extra profiles with her. <laughs> and it, But it was only the one that, that she uses her own name that she would like really personally attack me. So that's the one that, I mean, literally, she would say things like, I asked this question of Cassie O'Vera an hour ago. And she oh, I know. Speak. I've seen I know exactly. That sounds so familiar. You're right. She would say that a lot. But, like, she and I ask you stuff, stuff, and sometimes you answer right away, and sometimes you answer the next day. Like, we're not always awake. That's <laughs> where or, on, or on Facebook. That's why I told her, I says, I am not a bitch on command. Come on. You do not command me to appear and think that I'm supposed to appear. That's when things started going sour. Between yeah, you know, I where remember I, her talking like uh, that. That was that other group. That other group. What was it? That the the one that uh, Kanika Jenkins open discussion. Yeah, I that was in group. that one. I think that's I think that's the one I was trying to tell you about the other night. Remember? Well, I'm not kicked out of there, but the, that's the one that the admin wants to. She keeps telling me that she's going to archive it or shut it down, but she hasn't. But nobody can post in there because it's post approval, and she's not approving no post. Right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not the one. I, I was in that one. I might still be. I'm not sure. But I think I was in a couple that you're in. I know that. I, I think you were in there. I don't know if you still are. I mean, I haven't yeah. been back for a couple of weeks. I don't either, know if I still am. The thing is, is that first off, even if I was trying to be attentive, notifications are not always on time and regular. Yeah. And you know, she knew this. I didn't know this at the time. She knew where she lived in Australia. They'll, therefore, she knew she was 15 hours ahead of me. Therefore, she had to know, she's got to have some kind of common sense to know that I might be asleep once every 24 hours, and it may not be at the same time you're asleep. Right. You know, um, I'm sitting here trying to catch up on these comments at the same time. Um, but that's where she just got to that point. She was like, I, 
I've asked you, it's been, I've been waiting for your response for 20 minutes or, you know, and then what happened, that's what happened. Like one time I didn't answer her till the next day or it was one day or two, I don't know what it was, but I literally, I hadn't gotten in, uh, a notification. So how the fuck am I supposed to know anything? And she went and muted me and deleted stuff out of her group because in Debbie's group, I hadn't responded to her. And that was her excuse that she told me she did that for. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so you deleted my post out of your personal group because I didn't answer you when you fetched for me in Debbie's group. You're stupid. That you know, yeah, I flat out told her you know, you're stupid. Even just, when I get a notification, I don't always just go check it right away. Like, you know, I check